What is up guys? Today is January 14th, 2019. I am Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to Pokemon News Daily, a daily Pokemon news show where we go over all the news from the day, from official news to the leaks to the rumors, spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also be sure to leave a comment as well as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments of the video so let me know your thoughts on all the topics that we're going to go over today but without no further ado let's jump right into the news let's just start off the day with the obvious news story and that was the last weekend's pokemon go january community day for totodile and between getting a shiny totodile and a for alligator that knows to move hydro cannon it was a pretty cool day kind of busy for me and it was raining out here in switzerland but i still had time to hunt at least one of these shinies down which I did and I was happy with so I ended up going home kind of early because again it was cold so I couldn't spend too much time out hunting more so I was did happy I did encounter one let me know how many did you guys encounter and caught in the comment section below. So moving on to the next news story for today, there's a new opening for the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. And in the brand new opening sequence, we see the Pokemon League and the Loa being shown being built, which is pretty cool to see in my opinion. Also a clear sign the end of Generation 7 is going to happen soon with the Generation 8 set to be out due this year in the anime actually showing signs that basically generation 7 is going to come to a end with the conclusion obviously being held at the pokemon league i think this is pretty cool to see let me know if you guys have been keeping up with the animated notice this update to the intro let me know where you fall in line with the sun and moon anime and basically it coming to a conclusion to make room for what's going to possibly be the new anime for next year i want to say next year i think the sun and moon anime is going to bleed a little bit until generation 8 obviously until they you know get the cartoon up and rolling now this news story is coming from go nintendo.com i'm gonna have a link to this news article in the description below do note that they have this listed under rumor for now so do take everything with a grain of salt and actually think of it as a rumor because that's what it's labeled under it says info on the detective pikachu villain and the potential spin-off film it says detective pikachu in his debut trailer received overwhelming praise from fans and has really set things off on the right foot for the film people are pretty darn excited to see the movie and if you can bet warner brothers is very happy about that rumor has it that they're so excited that the idea of a spin-off film has already been being kicked around the spin-off film supposedly involves the main villain of detective pikachu now again if you played the game detective pikachu you probably know who the villain is a lot of people who haven't played detective pikachu including and don't actually know who the villain is i kind of know who the villain is because i've seen trailers and games gameplay of Detective Pikachu and also on the Detective Pikachu movie poster you see a graffiti on I believe a trash can on a wall that says MT2 obviously referring to Mewtwo and obviously this article is pointing out well this rumor is pointing out that yes Mewtwo is going to be in the movie he's going to be the main villain the movie will show his backstory and how he became the villain there's also a human villain who wants to control Mewtwo the spinoff will focus on Mewtwo as well as being a full focus Mewtwo movie and I think that'd be incredible with just the lore of Pokemon to be honest this is where it started and I I love it. I'm a Gen 1 -er. I praise those games. Pokemon Yellow is my favorite game of all time. So, of course, I would love to see a Mewtwo film in the art style of Detective Pikachu. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Again, this is labeled as a rumor. Also, another news story that I've seen blowing up, going people going crazy on Twitter. Ariana Grande, obviously a Pokemon fan, basically said the other day that she just that she had a day off and played Pokemon Go Eevee for 15 hours honestly that's pretty cool knowing that again that she chose team eevee which i think kind of suits her and then not only that she doubled down today with actually showing off a brand new tattoo of eevee which i believe is on her arm 
I could be wrong. Again, this could be just a makeup or something done for a video. I believe this is real though, if I'm not mistaken, which again is pretty cool to see, you know, again, someone like Ariana Grande doubling down and getting a Eevee tattooed on her. That is insane and pretty cool to see. Now, a bigger celebrity than Ariana Grande, uh, probably not, but apples and oranges is Corey Barlock. As you guys may know him is the guy that created God of War, basically retweeted this and he says that he freaking loves this and I freaking loved it too and I wanted to include it. Shout out to the artist that did this. I'm going to have, again, the tweet linked in the description below so you guys can see directly where it's from. Basically, Pikachu with the God of War Kratos beard and this ice car and the white and red. It looks amazing. They did throw the Smash logo behind them, so I'm hoping this does make its way with the Smash art with Pikachu model with the God of War, you know, armor on and it's, you know, maybe white and red to match Kratos. I, I hope we see this, and especially with, a, with an axe in his hand. You see the axe like making his way back to a Pikachu, which again looks amazing. Uh, shout outs to the creator of this. Shout outs to Kari Balak. And also the last little quick news I want to give you guys is that Serby.net Joe Merrick has been uh, basically teasing that the site is going to be getting a update which as you've known if you have seen the serby.net website is kind of you know it's not a hassle to jump on and i'm used to it and you know it's great on the desktop it works it's functional on the mobile side is kind of weird and you know it's kind of weird sliding around and getting to the place that you want to inside of the website now he did announce that there is going to be a mobile version that's going to be coming soon and with this mobile version it should be better to work on phones obviously but it's cool to see again this fan made website grow into what it is today and see that it's gonna finally get the facelift that has been dyingly needed shout out to Joe and the you know everyone over there that's, that, that's working hard on this project I can't wait to see how this updated version of the mobile site is gonna look I wish we did get a full overhaul of the official site on the desktop version so it can look you know side by side to something we see today as far as how websites have grown from the past couple of years but again that is gonna be a whole giant project if he's do wants to do something like that and I don't know technically how that's you know even possible now as I was about to wrap up this video I'm gonna just add this at the end because I think it was pretty cool FaZe Banks as you know the leader the god of FaZe Clan basically posted B a rare Pokemon ain't nobody gonna give a fuck about a Pidgey now funny story is that Adam 22 also said kind of argument Pidgey is a pretty good Pokemon I'm pretty sure if reversal sees this tweet he's gonna be pretty upset with <laughs> face banks because he loves Pidgey I thought it was pretty cool to see again to see you know big names in the gaming community basically bring a Pokemon I think it's good for the Pokemon community and I wanted to include it in today's news video now that's going to be it guys for today's pokemon news daily let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about all the topics that we went through today let me know your results from the pokemon go community day let me know your thoughts on the brand new opening inside of the pokemon anime let me know your thoughts of ariana grande flexing her eevee tattoo and basically grinding through pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee 15 hours she should be about done with that game that game is actually real a breeze to run through peace i'm gonna see you guys on on the next Pokemon News Daily. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one, so if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.